is Israel's image as a brand when it comes to economic investment and tourism and technology? How is it suffering amid the coronavirus pandemic and an ongoing, just extended national lockdown? Israel was long revered for decades for being a pioneer in the fields of health and technology. How do you promote Israel's economic brand around the world at a time like this? For thoughts on that exact issue, let's turn now to Joanna Landa, who is the CEO of Vibe Israel. What is, Joanna, Israel's economic brand right now? So right now and for the last 11 years since the book came out, it's Startup Nation talking about the technology, talking about the innovation, the entrepreneurship, and it served us extremely well for the last decade. But when facing a new crisis, it's time for some self-reflection, and we wanted to find out if it still is that. So tell me some more about the research that you did and what, uh, you know, the idea of the startup nation, how it kind of met head on to this brick wall of a worsening coronavirus pandemic. So it, it actually serves us very well in terms of meeting the pandemic, uh, in terms of how actually is uh, how good Israel actually is in technology, in innovation. The issue is whether it's perceived to be that good. And that we found uh, to be quite a gap between how much we are perceived to be good at this as opposed to how good we are at it. Yeah, we see the, uh, the, the visual here, the graph from your research on the screen. Explain that dichotomy between perception here and kind of reality. Right, so basically there's, we're kind of living in a bit of an echo chamber. We, the Israeli people, we, the Jewish diaspora, are looking at ourselves and we're celebrating the Startup Nation message. However, what really matters in today's fake news era is what people think and what people perceive, what's really getting through. And there's this big gap between the two, and that gap needs to be bridged, and you do that by branding and marketing the country. But that being said, the reality now, economically especially with Israel, I mean, unemployment is through the roof. It's now close again to 25%, almost a million people out of work. Uh, there's no budget. This is a country that doesn't have a budget for 2020 or 2019. It may enter 2021 with no budget. And there's a chance that the credit agencies downgrade our rating. Uh, so, I mean, those are hard truths. How do you kind of come up with a new image despite that? So the, those hard truths are true for probably most countries around the world right now. So we're in good company, all things considered. However, the bad news is that other countries are taking strategic efforts to make sure that they are, you know, the most popular product in the supermarket of nations. Yeah. And Israel strategically is not working hard at it. So what could uh, Israeli ministers, what can the government do now that will help them in the future, in the near future? So this is not just a government effort, it's a private sector effort as well, and we are a non-profit. We reached out to the Ministry of Economy and we're working in collaboration with them. And what can be done is to basically align ourselves with every other country in the world that has a kind of marketing and branding agency. You need to evaluate whether your current marketing is working, if it's not, adapt it and tweak it to what the world is seeking right now, and then go to strategic efforts to actually implement a work plan, which is how, what we're doing. And, I mean, the idea of investment in, in technology and business, how is that evolving these days? Uh, Israel's doing fairly well. We're not in a bad place. Okay. We're actually in a good place. This is what our research shows. On the whole, we're in a good place. The problem is that we're resting on our laurels, and we're still thinking it's 10 years ago, and we actually have real results that show that within four years, Israel is going to lose its competitive advan advantage in terms of perception, not necessarily in actual fact. And we want to make sure that countries like Estonia and Singapore and South Korea that are just as much startup nations as we are don't you know, overtake us in the competition for people wanting to invest in Israel or do trade with us. Yeah, really important, uh, eye-opening research there. Thank you so much for being with us. Joanna Landau, the CEO, founder of Five Israel. Great to have you Thank on you. the program.